right guys, how's it going? New Age here with our week one, season one battle of the WPA, the World Pokemon Association, and I'm your coach of the Antelope Valley Agron's New Age Steel, and we are up against U-Turn Crobat and the New London's Rourkes. <laughs> and I'm hyped and nervous because um, I was in a league, the NPCC, with U-Turn Crobat. Um, in the very last league I was just in, and he did really well. Um, and I gotta admit, I underestimated him last time. So, I can't be doing that this time around. No underestimatedness. We gotta go in and give it everything we got. So, if you're hyped, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, enjoy the battle, all that good stuff, and, uh, let's hit that battle start button and, uh, see what... See what my man U Turn Crobat is wanting to bring. And I'm doing it a bit differently. I'm gonna type in all the Pokemon in a showdown so I can see it here. Yep, there's the. There's the, uh. Freaking Salamence. Alright, so he's bringing Blastoise. I'm actually kinda surprised he brought by Sharp, but not surprised. Oh, he didn't bring Sticky Whip. Oh, thank you. I'm going to assume that's Gorgai's Super, Embor, Salamence. I'm so glad he didn't bring Sticky Web because that takes the pressure off my Excadrill to have to bring it. Alright, so he's, or have to get rid of it, my bad. Alright, so he's bringing Blastoise, Bisharp, Gorgai's, Embor, Salamence, and Gramble. And uh, we do have a team builder video that will be going up right before this video. So if you didn't see it, go ahead and check that out if you want. But we got Vaporeon, Alakazam, Conkledur, Excadrill, Zebstrika, and our man Slurpuff. Alright, so what is he leading with here? I don't want him to lead with Salamence right off the bat. But we have to get our Mega Evolution off pretty soon too. Um, part of me actually wants to lead with Conkledur. And he didn't bring Needle Queen either. Yeah, I think Conkledur is my best lead. I hope. I don't want to rush into this. I feel like I don't have answers for a lot of things. Um, at the beginning of the game. And I feel like Conk just gives me a lot to go off of uh, from the beginning. Just because it pairs up well against Bisharp. He can't set up with me on me with Salamance. Uh, Embor I might have to switch out from Gorgeist, I don't really mind because if he burns me we have Guts and we have Knockoff. Um, Gramble, I might have to switch out, but we're gonna lead off with Veins for Days, my man Conk, and see Helena Ba- What? Alright, so he's gonna lead off with Gorgeist. Alright, hold up, hold up. I wanna check my notes really quick because I did write down stuff to keep in mind. So Conk can outspeed, alright. So Striker needs to be a plus one to outspeed normal Salamence. Uh, okay. Okay. Alright. So. Let's see what we're working with here. Uh, we could definitely stay in. Let's see. Gorgai super defensive. Gonna run some of them calcs like right off the bat. See what we're working with. Knockoff does a lot. And we can finish him off with Ice Punch. I think Knockoff works too because it can catch anything he wants to switch in as well. Oh, um, a few last man things from the team builder. I changed Conkledur to Ice Punch because I was terrified of men sweeping me. I also changed Excadrill. All right, so he has the Cobra Berry, that's fine. Um, that means Ice Punch isn't going to be able to knock him out after this hit. Alright, and he has Leech Seed for now. And no item. Alright, so I am going to go for Ice Punch. He could switch out into Blastoise here. We'll see what he wants to do. But Conk matches up nicely against him. I'm not going to let it go down because this helps me not get swept by Bisharp. And I don't know how much of a priority I need. I brought rocks in case I felt I needed it, but it's not a huge priority. Because things like Bisharp and Salamence and Embor, they all get one-shotted by certain things on my team. 
The only thing I am worried about is Scar Salamence being too strong can just kind of outspeed my Alkazam and blow it back. Alright, um, what was I going to say? So we're, oh, okay. So I changed, Gor um, Veins for Days to have Ice Punch and I changed, uh, over Thunder Punch because Knock Off or because Drain Punch, if he burns me with Scald, can do over half to Mega Blastoise. Um, and I change Excadrill to Rock Slide. And he's actually faster than me. Uh, so that's something I'm going to keep in mind. How fast am I, though? This should do... Well, let's see. Alright. So, Ice Punch did not do anywhere near that much. But this is max HP, max defense. How did it not do that much, then? And Impish. Oh, this is if I'm burned. Okay. So then we'll have to switch out here. Um, hmm. Question is, who do I go out into? Because I don't really want him to burn me like that. I guess I should have brought Shadow Ball. Because this thing can put in some work on me. Also, I don't have a way to heal. I don't want him to predict me to switch out either. Alright, um, so he does, hmm, what did he just go for? Did he go for Seed Bomb? I don't want to switch straight into my Vaporeon. So he's got to be, like, completely defensive for that kind of damage. We can outspeed him with Vaporeon, but Seed Bomb does so much to us. Alright, I think I'm going to go out into Nightlight. He's actually going to switch out as well. So we get to catch something on a double. Well, not really. Uh, he's going to go out into Gramble, which is cool because the Intimidate does not matter. Um, I'm assuming he might be Frisk. Alright, so he's Intimidate, Gramble. Good to keep in mind. So let's see how much we could do here. With Volt Switch, potentially. I gotta stay smart. Keep things in mind. If I can, hopefully I'm doing a good job of that. And I don't really know what my win condition is. I feel like it's definitely Alkazam, except I don't have Shadow Ball. But Alkazam can get rid of so many things. Alright, so let's see. Thunderbolt can do up to half. Earthquake can one-shot me. It's a very low chance. But I might just Volt Switch here. Because he kind of... There's only so much he could do if he stays in. He can't paralyze me. He could try and Earthquake me. Which I kind of don't know what my Switch is. If he wants to Earthquake. Maybe Vaporeon. I really feel like I should have brought a more defensive Vaporeon. But I don't know what his set is. If he's defensive, Play Rough can do a decent amount. What was that damage? Oh, yeah. That's about how much it would do. Okay. Um. Hmm. I feel like Vaporeon is my switch. And we should be able to outspeed him. If he goes for play rough, it shouldn't do too much. And actually, Ice Beam could have a chance. Nah, it, it won't knock him out. But I could go for Wish, I think. I'm gonna go into Vaporeon right here. He might go for Thunder Wave. Now. Alright, so he does go for the play ref. I didn't want to switch Excadrill in on that. Alright, and that does... Okay, he crit me. Yeah, that's why. I was going to say that did a lot. Crap. That was a bad time to get crit. Because now I can't take another one. If I'm at 101. 
I'm at 42%. Clairoff has a really nice chance to one-shot me. But I need this thing. Damn it, now I can't take a seed bomb. Which Vaporeon would have been good to help beat... Alright. I need to save this Vaporeon now, because what I can still do is sub on his Gorgeist if he wants to try and go for Leech Seed right away. Wish, take a hit, get healed. Yeah, so I need the health for right now. And he might just go for Play Rough again. I might just go back into Zebstrika, because I could take him out with a another Volt Switch. Play Rough does do a lot. Let's hope he goes for that as opposed to Earthquake. If he goes for Earthquake, then that was a really good play on him. Alright, so he does go for Play Rough again. Alright. So at this point, Volt Switch should be able to take him out. So if he wants to let that go down now, I'm fine with that too. But we are Volt Switching here. It is 43 to 51, so it might be a bit of a roll, but I think the roll is in our favor, because he's under 50%. And as far as the me first thing goes, I don't think we'll get a chance to use that. He didn't bring Needle Queen, though. But that's okay. I feel like Conkledur can do some decent work. Oh, alright. I was thinking uh, Gorgas might get Harvest for a second, but that's Trevenant. I was like, oh, can he get that berry back? That would suck. Alright, so all we've seen is play rough from this thing, but... I'll assume he's, like, physically defensive. Alright. And the good thing about this is if he switches, then we get initiative. So, I'd be okay with that. Also, I don't know if he has a rocker, unless Bisharp is a stealth rocker, but I don't think so. I don't think he really brought any hazards against me. Alright, so hopefully this takes him out. Alright, cool. Hey, we get the crit, so we didn't even have to risk the roll. Alright, now we're even. <laughs> Now, unfortunately, he does get initiative here. So, I'm thinking I'm going to go out into Alkazam. Because I can get the Mega Evolution off. And I'll outspeed anything on his team. I outspeed Scarf Embor and I outspeed Normal Salamence. So I can know if he's Scarf or not. And uh, he might try and go out into Bisharp. Which, if that's the case, I might just sub. Because I need the Mega Evolution off. Also, this could potentially cover if he wants to go out into Gorgeist. He might just want to go Blastoise, too. Hmm. Is that my safest play? Yeah. I feel like I need to get this Mega Evolution off. I'm going to bring out Alakazam now. Alright, so we got Gramble out of the way. I feel like, depending on what he goes into, he might be able to force me out. Which kind of sucks, because I don't switch into a lot of things on his team very well. So let's see who he wants to go out into here. What? Who is this? Hello? <laughs> New Age Steal the Buy Sharp. Alright. Um, I'm gonna Mega Evolve and go for Sub. In case he wants to, like, Sucker Punch or something. I wanna find out what set he is. This could be potentially scary, but I do have Mach Punch on the Conkledur. 
So let's see what he wants to do here. I want to get this Mega Evolution off. The only part I don't like about subbing is I did the calc and a Scarf Emboar with Sucker Punch, which will obviously outspeed me because of priority, can... He has like a 50-50 shot to one-shot me with Sucker Punch, my Mega Alkazam. And that's at full health, so obviously if I'm not at full health, he can for sure one-shot me. So this puts me in a sketchy situation with Emboar. Um, so if I do end up out against Emboar, I'm gonna sub first just to see because I'll outspeed him no matter what. And then if he is going for like Flare Blitz or something, then we can try and assume he's scarfed maybe and hope he's locked into that and then beat him with the psychic so we're gonna mega evolve here and we're gonna go for the sub all right so he doesn't go for the sucker punch he goes for the knockoff all right and that can for sure take us out all right so my thing is, who do I want to get switched in here? How much does Psycho Cut do? He might actually be uh, the one berry that weakens fighting moves. Bye, Sharp. Let's assume you have Psycho Cut for Comp. There's 59 to 70. And if he's... What berry is it? Hold up. I know we're running out of time. Alright. Fighting... Choppleberry. Crap, I have 16 seconds left. Alright, well... Going out to Veins for days, I really hope... I don't regret this, because this is such an easy prediction, but I only had 16 seconds left. And he actually goes for Sucker Punch there, so we get a free switch in, which is awesome. Alright, well now I can do this calc. Choppleberry. So Mock Punch won't knock him out, but Drain Punch will. Psycho Cut does... Without a life orb, 45 to 54 with a life orb can do like 70. But he's not life orb. That's right, he's not life orb because we saw that he didn't lose his item. But Drain Punch will knock him out either way. I'm wondering if I want to make this play right now and maybe go for Ice Punch. I really hope I don't regret this. I'm going to go for Ice Punch. I really want to try and make plays on him because last time I underestimated him. Alright, so we do get to hit the Gore guys with the Ice Punch. So that's pretty cool. I don't think it's going to do that crazy amount of damage. Yeah, so he does have Frisk. All right, come on. Ooh, that was some nice damage though. I actually could have pulled a double, but I don't have anything to hit this that hard. Actually, that did a nice chunk of damage. I guess he didn't bring like Needle Queen because he didn't want to power up my Conkledur with Toxic Spikes potentially. Um, all right, so he's got to go for He's got to go for the synthesis here. So what do we do? So we can try and go into Nightlight. Or we can go into Grape Drank. This would be a great time to do that. 
Let's do that. Let's go out into Grape Drank on his synthesis because he's going to be faster than us and we can't one-shot him anyways. After he synthesizes. Alright, so he does go for the synthesis. Damn, that healed so much. And we're going to sub hoping that he goes for Leech Seed. Even though he knows he could take an Ice Beam. We should be faster than this thing. If it's the super one, which judging by how it's been taking damage, I think it is. If it's not, then we lose Vaporeon. But if he attacks us, then we also kind of just lose Vaporeon. But if anything, I might go for a Toxic if I am faster before I die. I have to go for sub in case he goes for leech seed. Whew. All right. So far things aren't going perfect, but we have a chance here. He's going to go for shadow sneak. Oh, please, damn it. Please tell me I have enough to get a sub off. Damn it. All right, I have to go for toxic here then. Yeah, I'm gonna go for that. I need to wear this thing down. He didn't go for Shadow Sneak. He went for Seed Bomb that time, but we did get the Toxic off. He actually goes for Synthesis this time. Alright. If I let this thing go down, I should still be able to beat Blastoise. Because I have Alakazam and I still have Zebstrika. So, I think I'm just going to go for an Ice Beam, just to get off damage and keep him a little low. And I actually, I actually do enjoy the, uh, the Rocky Helmet, just punishing those physical attackers is paying off pretty well. An Ice Beam will do a decent chunk to him, so I am just going for that. Shadow Sneak won't be able to take me out. Let's hit him for some damage, Grape Drank! Yeah! And he actually goes for Leech Seed now. Which, Leech Seed plus Shadow Sneak might be able to knock me out. Yeah, I think it will. But Toxic is racking up on him. It's gonna get to the point where I can just kill him with Ice Punch, I think, next turn. So I'm just gonna go for Ice Beam again. He can Shadow Sneak if he wants, but he's not going to get any Leech Seed damage and he's going to take Toxic and uh, Poison. Which will put him in range for Conkledur to come in. So I am just going to go for the Ice Beam here. And that will pretty much get rid of this thing. So he doesn't go for the Shadow Sneak, so I think this might knock him out. It does knock him out. So we actually stay alive because there's not anything to take the Leech Seed health from us. Alright. So Gorgeist is gone. So you got Shadow Sneak, Synthesis, and I'm pretty sure Seed Bomb? I thought I saw him use Seed Bomb at one point. I don't remember. Alright, alright. So Gorgeist and Gramble gone. His walls are getting beat, I guess. Crap. All right, he's gonna... Oh, that's Embor, okay. All right, all right. This is what we brought this for, though. Well, not really, but... Hmm. I am just gonna stay in, I think. Because I can't really heal on anything else. Um, and I think I'm gonna go for Wish in case I happen to be faster. So let's do that. Like I said, if he has no speed, we can outspeed him. If he has speed, he'll outspeed us. Which, Embor does commonly run speed, so I'm not going to be surprised if it outspeeds us. But this is just in case it doesn't. Or if he has Sucker Punch, we can find that out right now, too. Like, just the knowledge we'll get from this turn will be useful. If he doesn't take Life Orb damage, he could be Scarfed. Um, or if he has Leftovers, things like that. Because he will take Rocky Helmet when he hits us, so we can find out if he is Scarfed. All right. Or leftovers. 
All right, come on. We got this. So he does go for the Flare Blitz. He is going to be faster. And we're just staying in and letting this thing go down. He's going to take the Rocky Helmet. He doesn't take any life, uh, life Orb damage. He does take Life Orb damage. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So we get some really great information. Flare Blitz. And here's Life Orb. Alright. So the thing is here. How much does this do to Slurpuff? Grave Drank, you did awesome. Thank you. Alright, Embor. Life Orb. Oh yeah, that one shots us. <sighs> um Dig Dug could be faster. Should be faster actually though. M boy. How much does Earthquake do? Earthquake one-shots him. I don't want to risk him having Sucker Punch right now. And going out into Wolfgar. Alright. I'm gonna go Excadrill. I will outspeed. I do have my Balloon. Um, Earthquake will kill him. If he wants to switch out into Salamance, then that's fine because my Air Balloon will still be intact. So I'll get to hit him with like two moves, potentially. Well, really just one Rock Slide. I shouldn't have clicked that so fast, actually. I should have just gone for Rock Slide because now this is going to bring out the Salamance. And this potentially gives him a chance to set up on me. I don't know which set I'd rather have him be Dragon Dance or Scarf. I feel like I'd rather him be Scarf. Crap. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. I clicked that too fast. I didn't think it through. Let's hope that he doesn't predict me. I've been handling this battle, I feel so well, up until this point. Come on. Come on. Getting rid of the Embor right here would be huge, because it's one of the few things that can actually potentially stop my Alakazam. Damn it. <clears throat> Alright, so he is going out into the Salamance. Let's see what set he is. Alright, he is Intimidate. So I think he is Dragon Dance. So he's Intimidate, Salamance. Intimidate, Salamance. Even at minus one, Rock Slide still does up to half. So what do I do here? Salamance. Outrage to 60 to 75. And if he is at plus one, Outrage can one shot me. 
Our earthquake can't. How much do I need conch still? Oh, I need conch for Bisharp. That's right. Well, not really if I have Excadrill. Earthquake can actually 2 8 KO me. Oh, that's really unfortunate. I really don't want to get swept here. Hmm. Oh crap! I ran out of time! I mean, alright, that works, I guess. Yo, that was so sketchy. I ran out of time and it clicked Rock Slide for me. Which, honestly, I'm okay with that because I would have hated if it clicked, like, a good move there, making it seem like I predicted him. Because I did want to just click Rock Slide. That was my gut, anyways. But he does decide to switch out here. So that's good on him. Um. I don't know how well. Slurpuff can't take these hits well. Oh my gosh. <laughs> alright, alright. Mega Blastoise. Scald does so much. Actually, everything he has can do a lot. I might have to go out into my Conkolder. It is a Salt Vest. Oh my gosh. That's so scary that that just happened. Scald can do up to 35%, but, and we don't have speed. Is it worth it? All right, I'm gonna go into Kong for now and hope that it works out. Let's see what he's trying to go for though. Uh, damn it. He has Water Pulse, not over Scald because he doesn't want to burn me. And that's going to do more, actually. Alright. I'm just going to go for Drain Punch. I want to get some health. That is a good idea, too. He's a smart one. Doesn't want to burn the conk. gonna water pulse me again that shouldn't take me out all right we get off the drain punch that does a nice amount actually good enough to where I can live another water pulse and drain punch did kind of a lot I don't want him to crit me or anything. Because part of me wants to go for Ice Punch. Possibly predicting like Salamance or something. But Ice Punch plus Mock Punch is not going to knock him out. Yeah, I'm going to go for Drain Punch. Damn it. I don't want him to set up on me. Alright, we know he's Intimidate though. Not, um... Yeah, let's see if we could see a potential item here. Because Salamance can run a lot of items. He's not Moxie. How much do I need Conk still? I feel like I could still beat Bisharp if I have Excadrill, but... It's getting sketchy because Salamance isn't gone, so I still need Excadrill for that. It's putting so much pressure on Excadrill. But I think I need to stay in and go for Ice Punch. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I don't want him to Dragon Dance on me. I can't let him set up. Because I don't know his moveset yet. And Blastoise is pretty low. He could kill me with like Earthquake here though. Just straight up. I'm pretty sure. But I'm going for Ice Punch. I cannot let this thing set up on me. And he knows I have Ice Punch. 
He goes for Iron Tail trying to predict me. That's not going to take us out. And he was Life Orb. And Ice Punch should come through and take him out. <laughs> yeah. All right. No predicting there. Sound Mass was too dangerous. Oh my gosh, we beat the Sound Mass. And he was Life Orb. That was a good set. Yo, we beat the Salmets. Which means now we could save this thing too for Bisharp. Or not. What's he gonna do here? What should we do? I don't think we need Slurpuff anymore. So I think I'm just gonna go into Slurpuff. Cause if he doesn't Flare Blitz. If he doesn't Flare Blitz, then we'll live. And if he weakens us far enough, then we'll get Citrus Berry and outspeed him. And I don't really need Slurpuff as much anymore. Especially because it's slower than Bisharp still. So we're going to go out into Slurpuff. Because if he wants to go for Flare Blitz, he's going to take a lot of damage. Alright, so he does Flare Blitz. And I'm pretty sure he's Life Orb as well. So let's see. it. That'll for sure knock us out. But he's going to take a lot of recoil. And Life Orb. Alright. So what I want to do here... Because, alright, now he doesn't have an Earthquake switch in. This puts him at the point where he has to sack something. And we will not speed. What this does is it forces him to go for Sucker Punch if he has it. If not, then he's going to die. And Excadrill should outspeed everything else. This is going to force him to have to go into Bisharp after and Sucker Punch me. And I think it will have to take like an Earthquake or something. Which I don't think it can. I think we got this one. I'm not sure just yet. But I think we might have it. Alright, Dig Dug. To a Bi Sharp. Because I'm pretty sure he's not Shuka. He's the one for fighting moves. <laughs> Keep forgetting. And Sucker Punch cannot knock me out from full. Alright, so he's going to let his Embor go down. And he didn't have Sucker Punch on that. Alright, Embor's gone. Alright, he's going out in a Blastoise here. And Earthquake does 42 to 50%. So it should knock him out. I'm in a sketchy situation. Because I could. If he crits my Excadrill with Sucker Punch, then I lose. And that's not cool. How well can Wolfgar take a hit? Sixty to seventy-two. All right, I should be able to take anything he wants to go for, unless he goes for Ice Beam or sorry, Dark Pulse. I don't know why I said Ice Beam. Alright, let's go out into Wolfgar because I feel like that's my most expendable. Because I don't want to put Excadrill in a situation where it could die to Sucker Punch. And he does go for the Water Pulse. That does 72% max from Modest. Alright, so we eat it up. And we 
are going for an energy ball. Alright, we're gonna hit him with that. That should take him out. Mega Blastoise goes down. The crit did not matter. Energy Ball does 64 to 76. Alright, so he's going out into the Bice Charm now. I'm just gonna go for a Dazzling Gleam because if he wants to predict my sub, I think I can only sub one more time anyways. Oh, sorry for that lag. So he is just gonna go for the Sucker Punch, take us out. And I think now at this point, I'm gonna go into... Crap. If he's focused, Sash, I think he beats me. Oh no. Yeah, we can still lose to this. Alright. I'm gonna go out in the nightlight. And we're gonna use that me first. And hope it works. Crap, it doesn't work over Sucker Punch. I'm pretty sure I've looked into this. It doesn't work on moves that I already have priority. Crap, it can't copy Sucker Punch. Alright, we're gonna have to do some crazy stuff right here. So he's used... Two Sucker Punches. We're gonna go out into Banes for days. On another Sucker Punch. We need to sell him out of Sucker Punches. That's three Sucker Punches. Alright. Alright. We're gonna mock punch here. Hoping that he's trying to catch something. I don't know if this is the right time to do this. We can still lose. If he's focused, Ash, we lose. Damn it, he went for sucker punch. Damn it. Alright, so he's used four. Alright, I'm gonna go out into Dig Dug. If he didn't give it max PP, then he only has five. Meaning he would use his last one right here. But I think he's focus sashed. If he has five and he's focus sashed, then we can still win. We're gonna switch out in the nightlight here. And he does go for the knockoff. Alright. If he only has one more sucker punch, then we can still win. Because we will outspeed him twice. Alright. This is what it's coming down to, guys. Dig Dug versus New Age Steel. The question is, do I Earthquake here? No, I have to Earthquake. I'm just gonna Earthquake. So he doesn't Sucker Punch this turn. Let's find out if he's Focus Sash. He is Sash! The crit didn't matter. Alright, he's gonna go for the knockoff. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. Crap! I have to go for Stealth Rock here and hope he sucker punches. And now I have to hope he only has five. <laughs> I have to hope he only has five! I'm gonna rabbit spin! Please only have five! Come on! This is literally win or lose! Come on, just click it, Brad!
Do we got it or not? <laughs> Come on, man! Stop making me wait! Yeah! <laughs> we got it! Hey! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, we did it! <laughs> The stealth box coming through! <laughs> yeah! That was legit! <laughs> oh my god. Yo. Good game, Brad. Good game. <laughs> we did it, guys. Oh, my God. Yo, you turn Crobat. You are something else. I didn't realize it was going to come down to that until the last second that he could have been focus sashed. Oh my gosh. We had to play around all five of those sucker punches at the end. That was way too sketchy. I'm like shaking so much. Oh my gosh. That was a great way to start out the season. Alright guys, so that's going to be the battle. Aloe Valley Agrons take the win for week one. That was such a great way to start things off. Brad is such a good battler. And I knew I had to bring everything if I wanted to beat him. <laughs> so guys, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment down below what you thought. And be sure to head over to Brad's channel, aka U-Turn Crobat. And check out the battle from his side. The link will be down below in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to his channel as well. And stay tuned for more WPA battles to come. Hashtag ABA in the chat. Yeah. Uh, until then, I'm New Age. Still keep on watching. I'll see you guys next time. Later.